Russian forces invaded Ukraine four months ago today. While that battle has largely been fought on conventional terms, there have been fears that President Vladimir Putin could cross a red line when it comes to nuclear weapons. While some experts argue that is unlikely, but they say the recent rhetoric does increase the risk that future conflicts will break a long-standing international taboo. CNA Shahid Othman tells us more. The horrors of nuclear war were laid bare more than 75 years ago when the United States dropped atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. At the time, America was the world's sole nuclear power. Now, faster forward to today, and nine nations now possess nuclear weapons. Others may soon obtain them, and the potential for things to go terribly wrong has vastly increased. Now, Russia has the largest stockpile of nuclear weapons in the world, nearly 6,000, according to the Federation of American Scientists. Almost a quarter of them are retired. But nearly 1,600 are deployed and can be launched within minutes of an order. Russia also has lower yield devices that are sometimes referred to as tactical or battlefield weapons. They're kept in a few dozen storage facilities at military bases around the country, including several in close proximity to Ukraine's border. Now, nuclear weapons have not been used since those dark days in August 1945, thanks to a mixture of norms, treaties, mutual assurances, blandishments, suasion, technical mechanisms, fear and taboo. But then at the end of February, Russian President Vladimir Putin warned nations that interfere in Ukraine would suffer consequences like they've never seen in their history. Days later, he put Russia's nuclear deterrence forces on high alert. And the Kremlin clarified a month later that Russia would use nuclear weapons only if its very existence were threatened. But then bone-chilling bluster, a former Russian president and Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev saying he will do everything to make his country's enemies disappear and that the horsemen of the apocalypse are on their way. Russia's state-owned media went further with one TV channel breaking down the time it would take for a Russian nuclear-armed missile to reach different European capitals. 202 seconds for London, 200 for Paris and a little more than 100 for Berlin. Now, a popular presenter even threatened that Russia could turn Britain into a radioactive desert. Moscow's threatening nuclear posture has triggered concerns from its closest neighbours, most notably Finland and Sweden, both seeking to join NATO after decades of neutrality. So is Russia's war in Ukraine a potential tipping point for the long-standing nuclear taboo? A researcher at the Geneva-based UN Institute for Disarmament thinks it's unlikely Mr. Putin will break with convention. It would take hours for the weapons to be made combat-ready, for warheads to be mated with cruise or ballistic missiles, for hydrogen bombs to be loaded on planes. And such movements can be noticed by the West in real time. And so far, there has been no indication of any such activity. And we spoke with uh, Nina Tenenwald, senior lecturer at the Department of Political Science at Brown University. She explains why there is widespread moral aversion to first use of nuclear arms. I think that the, um, the, the moral aversion, or what, what we can call the nuclear taboo, this is a widespread inhibition on using nuclear weapons first, on crossing that nuclear threshold. And this, this uh, norm, this taboo is associated with this by now 77 year long tradition of non-use. And I think this taboo is widespread. It doesn't mean that every country holds it in exactly the same way. Public opinion shows that different countries you know, are more strongly in favor of a no first use of nuclear weapons than others. But this is now a norm of the international system that is promoted by the UN. And even if countries or leaders don't personally hold this taboo, they may comply with it. They know it's important because others care about it. Other countries care about it. So does Putin hold the nuclear taboo? We don't really know, but it's very likely that Putin and his generals know that if Putin used a nuclear weapon in the Ukraine war, it would have devastating consequences for Russia and even for Putin himself, because there is a widespread opprobrium regarding 
the use of nuclear weapons, uh, the first use of nuclear weapons would would open a Pandora's box uh, and you don't know where that would end.